Well, the wind sock uh, is just fluttering a little bit, but I can tell you that uh, the wind down on the field of play is just a little bit stronger. Coming up now, it's the bronze medal match in the men's individual recurve. And what a lineup we've got. Losing semi finalists pair up for the bronze medal. And uh, well, just wait till you see the names that are there. Uh, Chef van der Berg coming through uh, Daniel Castro in the quarters, losing out to Brady Ellison in a brilliant uh, semi final match. And uh, Lee Wu Shuk took out his teammate Kim Wu Jin. So it's van der Berg of Netherlands against Kim of Korea for bronze. Let's welcome them out onto the field of play. Over to the red carpet. Señoras y señores, con un fuerte aplauso, recibamos a los arqueros que disputarán la medalla de bronce en el arco recurvo individual. Well, it's Kim Wee-jin, who is uh, leading out the pair here. Shot the 692 in the ranking round uh, to rank second. Unfortunate to face his teammate Lee Woo-suk in the semifinals, losing out 6-2. Looks like he's uh, going over to target one. Chef van der Berg of the Netherlands shot a 6.85 to be ranked fourth after the ranking round. Losing out to Brady Ellison, 6.4 in the semi-finals. And here we see the heads up. Well, it's all green on the Korean side. That's a higher average arrow, higher percentage of patch wins, and a higher percentage of tie-break wins. Um, you'd normally say that Kim would be the favorite here. But Chef Van der Berg has been uh, shooting really well. He joined the 690 club uh, uh, about a month ago, and uh, there's very few archers out there who've shot a 690 in a ranking round. Uh, and he's on really good form. And crucially, at the moment, he's really focused on what he's doing. I definitely wouldn't underestimate either archer in this match. I think it totally could be either way. It really just depends on how well each archer controls their emotions, controls their form, and really looks at the wind. So here we go. It's time for the bronze medal match in the individual men's recurve event here in Medellin. Kim Woo Jin to shoot first. His form being absolutely superb throughout this tournament, and he's taken a two point lead in the first set. You can't really shoot any better than that. Uh, and, and to be honest with you, that uh, second arrow was absolutely nailed on. Here is a comparison of the arrows. And this is the, uh, the closest arrow of the pair. Nearly three centimeters for Kim Woo Jin and uh, just under half a centimeter for Chef Van der Berg. That's 38 millimeters. And uh, look, this is it. This is the one. An arc of about 10 meters. The arrow's dropping down into the target. What a great slow motion replay that is as we follow the trajectory of that arrow. Yeah, it's such a cool you know, view of this arrow and just amazing arrow fight. The arrow's just spinning. You can see the fletchings turn. Um, just a really awesome, well-placed shot. Well, can Kim Woo Jin fight back here? He scores a 10 at the start of the second set in this uh, bronze medal match. Four tens in a row. Dutch Archer. Kim Woo 
Jin was talking to that arrow just a little bit as it was going down there, but I think he still knew it was in there. Well, I think that was perhaps closer than the second arrow Vandenberg shot in the first set. Quality is phenomenal. A perfect score for Kim Woo Jin. Another perfect 30 from him. They share the set points, but the quality of this match, Mackenzie, is such a high level. Yeah, and, and if you're going off of group size, Chef has won that set as well. Just three X's right in the middle. Um, like you said before, there's one arrow that's probably closer than his previous arrow. Uh, just amazing shooting. Yeah, well, um, we can have a look back at uh, all of the arrows, I think, right now. Well, those two are so close, aren't they? Two yellow dots close to the X in the middle, or the spider as it's known. And that's uh, 0.38. So the two closest arrows are still the ones from the previous set, apparently. And there are Chef's tens. And look at that second one. And uh, Kim Woo Jin answered back with uh, a 10 of his own, a perfect score. And there is Chef's completion of his second 30 out of 30. Just awesome shooting, perfection. Yeah, just one nine, just, just one nine. Just one nine. Between the pair of them. Kim Woo Jin still trails, so he'll shoot first in the third set of this awesome bronze medal match. Oh my goodness me. I think he me. bested Chef there just a little bit on closest to center. Longer hold than normal. Doesn't matter, Chef answers with another X. Well, you mentioned the groupings were good from Chef Vandenberg. I think Kim Woo Jin heard you. Maybe so. I did not like that shot. You could just tell by a little expression on his face, but I still think he's going to put this one right back in. Well, Kim Woo Jin drops his second point of this match. Vandenberg has an opportunity to draw level here with a 10. He's pulled that one, an overcorrection, perhaps a, a bit of uh, adjustment with the bow at the end there, but it didn't do enough, and Kim Woo Jin has taken the third set, and we're all tied up at three apiece. What a match this is, Mackenzie. Yeah, so an interesting point. If they were shooting a cumulative score, they would be tied right now. So uh, set system is still proving to be true, so they are tied on, on set points. But look at this amazing shooting from the sin. Yeah, he's brought his way back, Kim Woo Jin. And uh, we'll take a look back at the two tens. I think that one is uh, the closest arrow so far. And then the grouping, well, what? One and a half centimeters apart, maybe, for those first two arrows? I don't speak metric system. So maybe so. Third of an inch. Yeah. Well, Kim Woo Jin. Uh, even though he's tied up, a shot first at the beginning, so he will shoot first again on the second target. All level in the bronze medal match. Just incredible shooting from these archers. You can definitely tell that Chef has been working on his form, his technique. It looks a lot more simple than what he, what I know his shooting to be, um, especially since the 2016 Olympics, and uh, it looks a lot more confident. Move it, 
Well, they're matching each other again here in the fourth set. A chance here for Chef to take this set. Lead to ten. Going to draw level. And gets the nine, and they are all square again in the fourth set. Four points apiece as we go into the deciding fifth set. Pressure really must uh, be on now for both of these athletes. Chef Vandenberg took an early lead, but Kim Woo Jin has fought his way back in, and then they've matched each other out on the range. So I don't, I don't think the conditions have changed any. I think this is just a little bit of nerves in a match where you're shooting really good shooting. Kim Woo Jin, reigning Olympic champion, to shoot first in the fifth set of this bronze medal match. Oh! Starts with a 10. Over to Chef Vandenberg from the Netherlands. He came fourth at the Rio Olympics. He also shoots a 10. This has been an awesome match throughout. There, Chef Van der Berg, a nine. So a ten here will put Kim out of reach. And it is a ten. He fought his way back and takes it in the final set. Chef Van der Berg will shoot his final arrow. And it is a ten. A 29 out of 30 is usually enough, but not against Kim Woo Jin. Kim Woo Jin takes the bronze medal here in Medellin. Well, what a match that was. He went two set points down and then three one down before drawing level with Chef Vandenberg and Kim Woo Jin scored a perfect 30 in the deciding set to win by six points to four. And we will see Kim Woo Jin on the podium here a little bit later on. <laughs>